Holy crap! Why is it so big? Hey nerds, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be checking out two pretty unique items to the collection. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, um, pretty new to me to collecting this. Um, I finally got my first artistic toy or artist toy or whatever. I mean, figure, not toy. Um, so this is a legit figure. It's still vinyl, I think, um, but it was created by an artist, like the design. And there's like a whole, um, like, assortment of colorways and stuff of it um and i thought it was super super dope um and i just had to get it even though the price point was ridiculous these things run 75 bucks and i i couldn't find any coupon codes or never really any cheaper and they're limited when they make them they make like a hundred in the run and then they sell those and once they're gone they're gone um, and they sell them at their website, UBD Toys, and then they also sell them, like, other, other places, like, they have other vendors who sell them, but all in all together, it's still 100 pieces. So, this is what their logo looks like, um, like, on the tape. For the oh, okay, the box. The box itself already looks schmexy. Um, so the line or the figure or whatever is called Cub. And then it comes in different colorways. All right, so this is him. This is Cub. Um, I got it in the latest, um, I think black and gray colorway is what it was. Um, so it's just this like drowsy looking bear that's got this dope hat and a hoodie with another bear on it. Um, his shoes, like some chucks or something like that. You know, that's what you can assume. And then um, just like his black jeans or whatever. Um, and then on the sides, you know, it's like a one of those like name brand hoodies or whatever. Fancy, fancy hoodies. So it's got these X's on there, I'm guessing, like designer stuff. Then it's got like the where patches would be for your elbows. And then he also has on this backpack, um, which has like three pockets. The main one on the back and then one on each side and then a big zipper um pocket there and a handle at the top and um yeah I don't know something about this pop just spoke to me like I just really love this design I love the way it looks also a nickname that I picked up from only one friend in college is bear um nobody else is allowed to call me that except for the one friend um but she called me bear and so I love stuff with bears on it now. Um, even though a lion is still my favorite animal, I also love bears now. Because I'm a bear. Everybody feels like I'm a bear. Like I'm just a big, cuddly teddy bear. But if I get mad, then I can be ferocious. And But aside from that, I'm just big and cuddly. So I've been called Pooh, like Winnie the Pooh, and Bear, and Teddy, like a Teddy Graham. She calls me Bear and Teddy. And then somebody else called me Pooh and... So yeah, so the concept of being a bear just has stuck with me since college, and I don't know, this is just me. This just feels real me, because he's wearing like black and gray. I used to wear a lot of black and gray and like muted tones, and he just looks like he's over it, and he got on his backpack and a hoodie, and in high school, you saw me in the same hoodie every day. Well, jacket. I call them jackets because they have a zipper. Um, but people tell me that it's still a hoodie. So anyways, I used to sit with the same one um, one year of high school, like every freaking day. Um, I don't remember what brand it was, like DC or something. I don't know. Um, but I used to wear it all the time. And so this just really like resonated with me. I don't know. I just thought he was super dope. And I just had to have him. And yeah, I mean, the detailing is cool. It's nothing like phenomenal or anything. Oh, look, it's got the uh, creator signature on the bottom, like etched into it. And then oh, it's got this little stamp on there, authenticity. Um, yeah, I mean, not much to say. This figure is dope. I can't wait to put it up in the display case and see how it looks. But I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not sure that I'm going to buy more in other colorways because although he looks great and he's pretty big, $75 is a, is a big price to pay for me to get all the colorways. And I think there's like five or six or something so far. Um, and they just keep coming out with more and there's nothing different about it except for the paint palette that they go with. And you guys know I don't really like 
repetition for real for real so I just think it'd be cool to have all these in the different colorways together but 75 is a little pricey to do that so I don't know okay the next item that we got is a product that I picked up from a company called new wave toys um, I joined their Kickstarter for this product I didn't realize it was gonna come out so much later than when I joined the Kickstarter and um the box for it is pretty freaking big and i don't know why so let's jump into it and see why it's so big but this is the box it's big and it's like substantially weighted for such a big box too so i'm very confused um because the item should be pretty small like this big i don't know packaging maybe okay so this is the box um from the company um replatronics um i guess is who makes it i don't know if the company's name is new wave toys replatronics but i don't remember but i'm pretty sure it's new wave toys at least that's what their instagram is um and this says a usb charge machine but that's not why i got it not for its charging capabilities um for its nostalgia and what it looks like so let's open it up holy crap why is it so big Holy crap, you guys, this thing is so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I don't know if it had dimensions when I was like getting it or not, but I underestimated it and it's so heavy and this thing is crazy. <sighs> okay, so what we got is the a replica of a, I'm, I'm guessing this has to be like one sixth scale maybe. That's what I'm assuming. Um, but anyways, we got a replica of a old school change machine. I thought this thing was super dope because it reminds me of being at like an arcade or a skating rink um, where you can put in obviously one or five dollar bills and you get quarters back to go and play your games or do whatever. Um, and this, this thing just gave me such nostalgia. Like I just loved the way, you know, that these things look and I felt like it would look really good in some of my toy photography but I did not realize that it was so big. Look how large it is. Look, um, this is compared to like this figure and that is much taller and this is like seven inches, I think. Holy crap, guys. I cannot even use these, use this in my toy photography because compared to my toys, this thing is going to be so much bigger and the change machine is not supposed to be that much bigger than you. Um... Yeah, that's crazy. So this item, uh, like I said, is a USB um, charger. So it comes with a power cord. You plug the power cord into the wall, plug it into the back here, and then it has all of these uh, USB charge slots. There's five um, USB 2.0 ports, and then there's one USB 3.0 port. Um, and the reason that they made this charge machine is because they also make uh, replicas, real working replicas of arcade cabinets. And these things go for like a hundred and something bucks. Um, but I thought they were small, like the little one that I have, that's like a cheap one. It's, it's, it's small, small. It's like mm, this big. Um, and it's not proportional, like the size and stuff like that, but it's a working one. Um, so yeah, this thing is ginormous. So they sell replicas of arcade cabinets that are fully working and to scale as far as I know, um, that they have licensed and stuff. And so this you're supposed to put next to it and plug in all of those, um, all those arcade cabinets to here to power them so that you can have your own little mini arcade. Um, but like I said, these things, the arcade cabinets run for like a hundred and something bucks. I don't remember how much this was because like I said, I backed a GoFundMe. I feel like it was like 50 bucks maybe the GoFundMe or 45, something like that. Um, yeah, but this thing is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. So either this will just be like in the background of some pictures or in some random uh, pictures that I do. Because I do other types of pictures, but not my specific toy photography, I don't think. Um, because it's just huge. And then it also comes with a little tiny baggie of coins. It has an R in the back. But that's going to do it for me in this video, guys. If you like this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And while you're down there, let me know in the comment section, what did you think of these awesome things? Would you ever pick up this cub figure 
or this change machine, beware that the change machine is quite large. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay in the know of all the nerdy and hit that bell notification and be sure to share this video and my channel with anybody that you think may enjoy. But as always guys, remember, keep it nerdy.